What is going on, fellow YouTubers? This is Heath Nation 2465 and welcome to an episode of the Berserker Podcast. A really abrupt and out of nowhere episode, so to speak. Of course, I am doing this through Discord. I have Andy with me. What's up? How and, y'all doing? And then I got his brother uh Justin with me. Good morning, everybody. So of course, a lot of shit has happened. Of course, I've stopped making videos for a while because of the stress and shit. But during that time, a lot of shit has gone down. Oh, yeah. A lot of shit. You know, what I'm about to talk about... You know, I mean, here's the thing. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. To me, it doesn't matter if you have... 200 subscribers like I do, or 200,000 subscribers, or even 200 million subscribers, you know, the situation, right. yeah, the situation we're about to talk about transcends all of that shit. We're going to take, talk, take, what the fuck is wrong with me? We're going to talk <laughs> a little bit about humility and... Just basically being rational and being a decent fucking human being. Ugh. Yep. So, I put it in the Discord for Andy and Justin to see. But for you guys that are watching this right now, allow me to explain a bit. So, as you can see, there is a YouTuber out there. Big YouTuber, you know, that does a lot of these sports highlights. You know, people like, uh, Bud Lee Weiser, Savage Brick, um, Ding Productions, and all that. Basically, the football highlight and compilation channels, in a sense. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. I just never really met or know any of those YouTube channels. I never really watched them. But... I mean, yep. some of them, like, like Savage Brick puts up good compilations. I'm not going to fucking lie. Um... One of these guys, well, to give you a perspective, Thursday, football restarted. Of course, I didn't watch it. I don't think you guys watched it either, did you? I did. Uh, Justin did. Yeah, of course Justin did. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Justin, god dang it. Uh, I, just, I muted the National Anthem, though. I muted the National Anthem. I didn't listen oh, to Oh, when National they were anthem. doing like the, yeah, that's another thing. They were doing like a black National Anthem, weren't they? Yeah. yeah, it's and it's I'm... just well, lo and behold, you guys are in the screen share. Of course, this one dude, his name's Highlight Heaven. He basically uploads, you know, compilations and highlights, and he uploaded this video: the Chiefs and Texans, the moment of unity where they're like crossing each other's arms and all that, locking arms before they do these yeah. anthems. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, of course, I don't know if you guys can see it because you're watching on the phone, but of course, this had mixed reviews in it because it's a controversial topic. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, like, it's like a 66-33 like a ratio from the looks of things. Um, and basically, of course, chat was in the comment section, I should say. Not chat, because that's Discord. The uh, comment section was half and half on this. So there were some people that were arguing and being ignorant. And yeah. there were some people that were actually debating this. And they were actually putting out thoughtful comments. And I'm going to display another one right here. Here's another one about, you know, I think one of the fans had a sign that said unconditional love. And she gave her... Yeah. A or her, I think her name Laura or something. Yeah, you it's it shows up on the screen right here. But yeah, look like Laura Kane if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And we're not trying to expose anybody's privacy. We're just showing comments. But this one No, no. I mean, it's a, it's a fair comment, you know. It's you know, it's it's being polite, you know. It's giving an opinion, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, no disrespect to people. No. Nah. So, and then, of course, there was um, 
me and this other guy who had a disagreeing opinion, but we were civil about it. So, of course, this is the conversation that resulted. And, you know, there was, there was, a, it was a half and half peaceful argument. There was this other guy right here, Connor Powers, who made a, he made like a thing where someone that thinks that uh, Trump 2020 and then people were like, commenting political shit and this is what happened uh i made a really good analogy i made a really good analogy here you left the window open at night and all the moths are coming into the house now that's actually pretty fucking funny I'm not gonna <laughs> <lie>. <laughs> yeah, that, is. that is yeah yeah like, <clears throat> like there was a good split now this is where the shit gets really started because right here, this this Mike Hawk dude right here, he basically makes a comment. It says, quote, wow, politics, exactly what everyone didn't want out of sports. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Legitimate opinion, right? Uh, so, okay. So, I didn't know if you cut off for a moment. Sorry about that, Andy. Oh, you good. So, of course, out of all the comments that this motherfucker made, I mean, on not necessarily what he made, but on his video in particular, he, only, mm -hmm. he, re he replies to this one. And he says, oh, you mean human rights? And the way that he says it, like, there's going to be some shit that's going to get started, you know? Yeah. And, of course, you see my reply. I reply with, quote, let's not start with these arguments, not against your own viewers. Because, at the end of the day, you I shouldn't... See yeah, you shouldn't be attacking your own viewers, right? You know? Right. Regardless if their opinion doesn't match yours or not, you know? So, right. of, of course, highlight heaven here, he replies, he's like, I'm standing up for the truth, bro. And of course, I reply, I don't care if it's the truth or not. Because I really don't care if it's the truth. It's more or less, uh, you're. it's basically that analogy I brought up with the Connor dude. You open the window and are letting the moths get in. And now you're trying to set the fucking yeah. house on fire. Because right. you gave like an ignorant response to all this. So and you know what I hate? I hate when people always bring politics into the sports. Mm-hmm. You know, let, let the sports be the sports. It, and, it's totally different from politics. And that's what I'm saying. Like you you have an opinion on the matter, you know? And yeah. I can't argue with your opinion, but of course, Highlight Heaven doesn't like that. So of course he tries to debate this guy. For his opinion, out of all the comments that were made on that video, you know, he always chooses this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But then, mm. this is where shit gets interesting. Okay? Let me present okay. the next thing. Because, right here, I'm going to read this word for word. Okay? This okay. Mike Hawk, dude. I, <laughs> I just realized this dude's name was Mike Hawk. Get it? I just noticed that too. <laughs> Mike Hawk. Okay. Ah, uh, that's pretty fucking clever. So, this is his comment. Quote. So, was it the guy who died of a drug overdose in police custody you're standing up for? Or the rapist who violated a restraining order, fought with police, and tried to steal a car with children in it? I just want to be clear on this. Okay. Nothing mm. wrong with it, right? Right? No. No. Highlight Heaven, he replies by saying this, quote, Damn, that's actually crazy how fucking racist you are. Get the fuck off my channel. End quote. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. He's judging. Exactly. He's, he's judging and criticizing. Andy, what part of Mike's sentence is racist? Let me ask. That. I don't see anything racist about it. Like it would have been different if he had a use like 
the N word in the sentence, then yeah, it would have seemed racist. But like, you know, he technically didn't. So I don't see how that comment is racist. I don't yeah, see and, it and either. That's cool. And, and as far as the um, part where, you know, he's talking about uh, somebody stealing a car with children in it and stuff, I, I don't know who he's referring to. Nine times out of ten, I, it could have been maybe a black person. I don't know. I, I don't. Like I said, I, uh-huh. I, I'm barely on the media, so I don't really know what's going on out here in the world. I think he might be referring to some type of sex trafficking incident, you ever know. But also, I think he, there might be a reference to uh, that Netflix documentary, Cuties, which is, like, a big fucking deal right now. I don't know, right? No. But... Oh, no either. I want people in the audience, all right? This is a message to the audience. Look at this message. Tell me one freaking thing that says racism in it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll wait. This is a possible video yeah, yeah. after all. You know? Yeah, just 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 take a second to read the the comment, right? And and just think. You know, just take a second cuz the way I'm looking at this comment, I don't see anything racist about this comment. Mm-hmm. And then of course there's come pre that one smart ass Oh, he's talking about a uh, black guy dying in a drug overdose. No, he's talking about a guy dying of a drug overdose in police custody. It could be a black guy, white guy, Latino, Asian. It could be fucking anybody. You don't know. Yeah, it could be. It could be fucking Barney the dinosaur. You will never know. <laughs> what a nice analogy there. <laughs> then again, I'm just saying, <laughs> Barney the fucking dinosaur. You know. So of course. This sets me off, all right? This man, yeah. I, I think up to the point where this video is being uploaded, this man had 784,000 subscribers. And he replies with shit like this, all right? Let's get to my reply. And, of course, Mike Hawk also said this. Quote, I thought this was about the truth. Now you are deleting comments because of objective facts that you don't like. And that's basically what's happened here. You know, you got a guy. Yeah. He taught. He taught. That's the thing that really. Let's go back. Let's go back here to the start of this whole thing. Right here. The third message. Yeah. I'm standing up for the truth, bro. Right. Meanwhile. Right. This guy is giving an honest truth, and you tell him to get the fuck off your channel. What? And, and that's the problem. You, you do not disrespect your viewers like that. You know? You that, don't. That's, like, that's how you lose subscribers, and that's how people lose respect for you. Exactly. And it's like, also, you're hypocritical because you're sitting here saying you're going to stand up for the truth. Meanwhile, you're telling a person to fuck off because he told you a truth. Like, I'm going to be real. The best thing, it, 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 the, instead of him commenting and saying that, he could have just laid back and he could have just ignored it. But he decided to be disrespectful towards his viewer who's watching his content. You know, it's like, I, I can't stand YouTubers like that. I, I can't. I, I can't either. Like, if you look at big YouTube, like I said, this guy has 784,000 subscribers. Tell me one. Damn. Yeah. He, he, yeah. Tell me one YouTuber, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, whatever. Subs- a guy uh, that has more subscribers than this who acts like this. You know, I, I never, I never see Jack Septagon or Pewdie, Pewdie, PewDiePie, sorry, um, <laughs> act like that. I never seen, and they got over shit. I want to say, I think I know PewDiePie got like maybe 80, 90, 000, 90 million subscribers. Oh, like he that. has more than that. It's a hundred like six million. The last time I checked. Okay, well, the last time I, I watched his video, he had about that much. I ain't well, watched PewDiePie in a long time. 
That was but, like um, a while Jack, back. Jack said the guy, I think he got maybe 10 million, something like I don't remember. I think it's something, album. it's like 10, 20 million. But like, even if they made a video, you don't see someone disrespecting someone like this to their no. viewers. You don't. Even on live stream, don't. you don't see it. You know? And and Jack Septic guy is one of the coolest YouTubers on YouTube. You know, he 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 be kind as hell to his subscribers. Yeah. You know, he always he always I mean, uh give Oh yeah. He always show love to his subscribers. Always. Oh, I think you know what? He's actually he actually did a video, you know, one of the big criticisms, Andy, that you brought up is a lot of these big YouTubers, they don't do anything for smaller YouTubers. Like people like Jeff Sect the guy. They do stuff for smaller YouTubers. You know, even the people yeah. that have less subscribers, like Highlight Heaven here, people like um, David Jaffe and Christian Miracle, they're always doing stuff for smaller um, channels to get their um, um, chan like their subscriber count up for the communities and right. shit. And right. especially in this field, all right, especially right here, when you're a fucking football highlight channel and a compilation channel that is supposed to be providing us, you know, with a certain form of entertainment that comes off a specific sport, you know, right. you're held to the same standard either way. Right. And this right here basically shows that you don't give a shit and it's just sad. He don't. Like like I said, Jack Septic guy, uh, he is one of the coolest YouTubers. He's kind. He cares about his subscribers. Like the man donates to charities. I even uh -huh. see him donate and to charities. And here's the thing: it's beside the beside the point. It's not just Sep Jack Septic guy. I'm just I'm thinking about the sports community. You got a uh, Darian, um, Black Flags Matter. You know he's always um yeah, doing yeah. outreach and stuff. And there are people that have gone up against him because of NASCAR banning the Confederate flag. But, of course, they've been polite about it. He's been polite about it. That's how you basically yeah. start a relationship with your um, viewers. Not the case here, right. you know? And right. I'm glad that I have this up on my screen for as long as it can be because I want people to know how truly bad this is and how it affects the YouTube community. I'm going to move on here. Yeah. I'm going to move on to my reply. Okay. But um, there is there is other YouTubers out here who who do things for their subscribers. You know? Exactly. So Even small the smaller channel. So. So. Know. Okay, we're going to get to my reply. So of course. Okay. After seeing this shit, I was on break at work when I saw that. And, of course, I replied yeah. with this comment. Quote. See, this is why I don't care about the, these topics. Okay, of course, that's a typo. This right here is why these topics are absolutely ruining this country, which they are to some extent, because all it does yep. is cause drama and hate. This guy brought up a valid point. He did. And you basically just attacked him because you're so insecure about your own damn opinions and what you perceive as truth. Anything yep. wrong with that, Andy? Nope. And here's here's it again. Quote again. Hell, you're so insecure you decided to put this video as unlisted, which confuses me, but I'm going to explain that later. Um, and I don't give a damn how many subscribers you have. This behavior is uncalled for. It needs to be put into the light. So I'll tell you what. I'm not going to sit here and waste my time on someone like you. There are other sports channels who don't stoop to this level, and I will take my business there. Fuck you. Yeah. I had to do F you on that one because YouTube censorship bullshit. But that's another yeah. thing that really, like, spooks me. It's like, you know, you care. That's another thing. You say you care about the truth, yet you're putting your video at unlisted. Why? Right, right. You, you can't yeah, why? handle why? Because you can't handle the truth. You can't handle the fact that people have opinions on this. You know, it's not just that. He probably just ain't 
want to deal with people commenting on it, but he could have easily deleted the comments if he wanted to. Yeah, but even then, that would even draw more suspicion to you. Yeah. Unless, of course, you talk about it in your community page, and at that point, it becomes fair. I remember when uh, Christian Miracle, when he was doing the uh, WrestleMania 36 sins, and people were shitting on him because of a sin. Like, one of the sins he said was talking shit about rap today. And people gave him yeah. so much shit for it that he decided to uh, delete the comment section altogether. And, of course, he talked about it on his community page. You know? Oh, okay. Even, like, stuff like that, you know, is acceptable. Not oh, yeah. this shit that Highlight Heaven's doing. And that's the reason this um, podcast is titled Highlight Heaven Exposed, all caps, because, mm. you know, this sets a precedent, a precedent on how these channels need to behave. You don't sit there and insult your fucking uh, fans. You don't sit there and make such comments. You don't become a hypocrite saying how you're all for truth and then tell someone to F off. Because they said an opinion that you didn't like. Right. I mean... Yeah, I agree. And my, my head is, like, hurting just thinking about this, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, you know, when I upload... I'll tell you what. I'm going to put this... I'm going to get my webcam up. I'm going to get me on camera. How's it going, motherfucker? Um, when I did, when I uploaded the Gaga Ball best match mm -hmm. ever, there was a bunch of people that loved the match, and there were a bunch of people that hated the match. Now, of course, I could do everything I can to promote the video, you know, I could do stuff to, like, delete the comments because the like-dislike ratio and all that. I didn't do either of that. You know what I decided to do? I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. If you guys think um, this is not the best match and you got something better, let's see it. Let's get this sport. What, what match big. are you referring to? The greatest Gaga, the greatest Gaga match ever. Like the first thing I uploaded. Oh, okay. Like not the compilations, but like my that 15 minute video. You know. Okay. Like, I did Wait, something, it. you know, that helped people develop a community in this sense. I tried to encourage people, you know, right? because that's what you do when people yep. have strong opinions about something. You debate it, and then you expand yep. on it. And that was the case with this Gaga Ball match. Not the case here. Oh, Not the case in this situation. Actually, speaking of match, I want everybody, after y'all watch this video, go and watch mine and BJ's wrestling match. It's one of the greatest matches uh, in in this uh, time, you know, because he, he, he had wrestling matches from years ago, but... Yeah, and that's anyway, a, go that's and, a, that's go, an, that's go an, go no, 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 that's another thing I wanted to bring up. Notice when I put that up, when we put up that greatest wrestling match ever, I don't want to do like the whole promotion thing because it's like, you know, it's kind of like exploitative. But at the same time, that's another good point I wanted to bring up. When I uploaded yeah. that wrestling match, you notice how, Andy, when I titled it, it was titled greatest wrestling match ever question mark. You know what that does, right? No, really, but it kind of it kind of gets you to challenge the idea, you know. Oh, yeah. Is it the greatest wrestling match? Well, you look at the likes and dislikes, that will tell you everything you need to know. But that's beside the point. That's beside the point. Right. You know, the whole thing I'm trying to bring up while we're debating our my videos and whatnot is that you. When you're, I'm trying to find a better way of explaining this. When okay. you have such a massive audience, like you, 
Highlight Heaven, or whatever the fuck your real name is, you have a responsibility. Doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, whether it's 784,000 or 784 flat, you have a responsibility to not just make good content, but to be engaging. All right? I want you right. to find one thing from this comment that was even remotely close to engaging your audience. Mm. I'm going to keep it up on the screen. I want you to go ahead. Um, because if this is the standard where you're telling a person to fuck off, if that's your way of engaging an audience and trying to promote thought, you're an idiot. Yeah. You know, it's just... Andy, I'm going to let you... I'm going to want to close this out, but I want you to give your final opinions on this matter. Like, like we said before, I don't see anything racist about that comment. I don't, I don't really know why he even put that, but, you know... It is what it is. He put what he put, you know. And now he's getting exposed for it. Yeah, he get mm -hmm. he getting criticism back. Mm -hmm. We had we had to go out. We had to go on his head like a bad dinner. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily put it like that, but yeah, you're right on that, Mark. You know. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It is what it. But but the one thing he shouldn't have done was disrespect his uh, viewer like that. Mm hmm And he, go ahead, go ahead. I want, like I said, I want you, you to finish you it. Not, you, not, you never disrespect your viewers like that. You know, not once have I ever disrespected any of my viewers that watch my videos. You exactly. And, and same with you. You never said anything bad to your viewers even Unle though people rarely comment in your video it's like i'm the only one that do it unless unless of course it's a sex bot uh dresses ling ling but <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> like yeah you got a point on that you know like that one video but of course i like the re our wrestling our wrestling video people was commenting on it which is good I mean, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk about this. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I, I, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just, that yeah. I, I let them comment whatever the hell I wanted. You know, yeah, whatever yeah. the hell they wanted. But yeah. is that? I'm about to get my final part in. All right, because okay. I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about it at work when I was working overtime today. I'm gonna say this. Highlight Heaven, HH, whatever the hell your name is, you fucked up. You fucked up today. You actually, no, you fucked up on Thursday when the game happened. He fucked up when he when he uh dropped that damn video and was criticizing people. That's when he fucked up. Well, no, here's, all right, I'm going to say what I have to say here, Andy, because you fucked, here's the thing, Highlight Heaven. You fucked up big time because here, especially in a video with that much controversy, you had a chance to engage an audience. You had a chance to get opinions left and right and learn more and become a better person, not just on YouTube, but for yourself as well. You had that opportunity. Right. There are right. tons of comments on there that you could have easily replied to. Whether whether you were watching the Texans and the Chiefs go at it or not, you had tons of opportunities. And yet, on this one comment right here, this one minuscule comment, you decided to start a fire. And when mm. I told you in that same message, don't be doing this to yourself. You didn't listen. You know why? Because at that point, you know, you may see, think it's political, but at that point, it becomes a lesson in humility. 
All right? Mm. Because mm. you basically started the fire, and when I told you to put it out, you didn't listen because you're so egotistical that you want all of your 784,000 subscribers to listen to you. So what did you do? You attacked a guy that had a legitimate opinion that wasn't even close to being racist to begin with. All because it didn't conform to your beliefs. Really? Mm. Really? Yeah. And here's another thing. You replied to that same comment, that same long comment saying, wow, uh, congrats, good job on uh, defending the racism. Guess what? Good job being a triggered snowflake, jackass. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Good freaking job. And now it's got you looking like a dumbass in front of your subscribers and in front of the whole community. Good freaking job. How does that make you feel? Do you feel accomplished? Do you feel like you're on top of the world like the Titanic? The Go only ahead. Thing I want to figure out Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish list. this. Let me finish this. And yeah, I know I'm you. Sorry to cut you up. Nah, it's all I'm right. It's all right up. because you know. Go ahead and pause it. Do you do you feel a sense of accomplishment? Do you feel a sense of entitlement when you do shit like that? And here's the thing. Yeah, I'm sharing this video with you. I'm replying with this damn video. And I don't care what the hell you do. I don't even care if you send your subscribers after me. I don't care if you post this on your Twitter account in front of all your triggered K-pop loving fans and tell them to come attack my channel. I don't care. Go for it. Because who's that benefiting in the long run? Hey, you fucked up, asshole. You fucked up. You made a comment that basically exposed you for who you really are. And like I said before, there are a bunch of other channels out there that are worth my time than you. You're not even worth the oxygen that I'm fucking breathing in the air right now. Or the oxygen that you breathe, for that matter. Right. And that's the bottom line. Yep. And like I said, I don't care if this video gets liked or disliked a hundred times. You know, I've been on YouTube for 10, 11 years now, actually. I've seen it all. You're no different than any other YouTuber like Shane Dawson, any other YouTuber like Jeffree Star, no other YouTuber like J Station. You're just like them. Yeah, and you're not, not you're not even special. You upload bootleg NFL videos to show how quick you are against the NFL. Good freaking job. Let's give you a medal. I hope you put that on a plaque on your fucking wall. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andy. I'm sorry. I just it pisses I, me I'm off. Just, Man. I'm just laughing. You know, I'm, I'm laughing at your reaction. It's I just, funny to me. I'm just I I have more self-control with my audience than this guy. And this guy has way more freaking subscribers than I do. Oh. It's just sad. This is what YouTube has come to. I mean, yeah. Look look at how YouTube is now. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I wish YouTube would go back to the old way, you know. But Back when you could rate so a video like to... five stars and shit. They, they, they made it uh, a new rules and regulations now that you got to follow, which mm -hmm. and then I you think got... is personally just but whatever. And then you got for the kids. And then you got this shit right here. And people think that that's perfectly fine. Really? If this is yeah, our, if this is what our definition of fine content is on YouTube, then I might as well just delete my channel. Like because it's not even worth the headaches at this point. It really isn't. It's it's not really. Yeah. You know, 
and, and you got some you got some of his subscribers who are actually uh agree with him on that too. You know, the one the ones who support him the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like because the guy's just uploading the same shit. I don't know. Like it's like the whole thing I had with Scott Lindeman. Let me get this Berserker podcast screen back up. It's like the whole thing with Scott Lindemann calling me out on Twitter, like, bragging about his followers. It's like my supervisor said at work, he's like, I don't even think he knows, like, 50 of those people personally out of the 600 that he claims are following him, you know? Yeah. And I doubt that any of the people that are subscribed to his channel don't even care about him personally other than the fact that he uploads NFL videos, you know? Yeah, pretty much. And I feel like that's just pissing off people like him. And this is and this is the result of all of that. You know? And it's just it's tiresome. And I'm not standing for it. And neither should you, Andy. You know? Yeah. And 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 I don't, you know. I, I ain't really know nothing about this guy's channel and you know, until you uh send me the video. I ain't know nothing because I rarely watch sports channels. I'm more watching gaming channels. I'm not really hardly watching sports channels. Mm-hmm. But I just now recently got into watching sports channels because of you. And didn't so, like and didn't you like say that this was like one of, this dude was like the first person you subscribed to? Yeah, well when you sent me the video, you know, I, I didn't know that you know, he was doing that stuff until you pointed it out. And I had, and I, let me remember, I had just subscribed to his channel. But when you sent me that shit, and, and you know, I read it, I was like, hold on. Like, I got to change my mind on, on subscribing to him. Because, hold on, if he acting like that, then I don't want to be a supporter. You feel me? Yeah, it's just, and here's the thing. Maybe this is the first time he has done this. Or maybe he's got a Twitter or a Facebook or an Instagram where he's made similar comments. I don't know. The point is here, he screwed up badly. And he gave himself a bad image doing this. And now it's documented. And you know what? If I dare, I dare highlight heaven to take this video down. As a matter of fact, let me get, let me get my webcam up. Highlight heaven, if you do see this video, try to take it down. And suck my dick while you're at it. Oh, that's all good. He 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 could try to take it down, because you know what? There's always a plan B with me. I'm you know, yeah. You that. Yeah, it's like, you know what's going to happen if you take it down? It's just going to go back up, you know? You know you know what, I, what I'm going to do? As soon as you drop that video, you already know what I'm bound to do. Oh, you're probably going to doubt. I ain't, I ain't going to. I'm not gonna say it on here. I'm gonna wait till we done because I'm, I'm gonna tell you my plan on what I'm gonna do. Just yeah, I know you what you're gonna. You're probably gonna download it, and you know what? There are probably people out there that are seeing this right now, and are like, "Yep, this shit's about to hit the fan." Download, you know, because that's how YouTube is. They did it with uh, Phase Banks and the whole Barley House bullshit, you know. So of course they're probably gonna do it here. Well, yeah, you right. You said you read my mind. You already knew what I was gonna do. I I pretty much do that with almost every YouTuber that talk on topics and stuff similar to. You it's know, just in, ca- in case in case YouTube try to take it down or any other uh, YouTuber, you know, like when 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 my boy Hood Gaming was doing his prank calls years ago, back when he mm-hmm. first had his first channel and he had over. Almost 200,000 subscribers. I downloaded every prank call he ever posted. Just in case YouTube deleted his old channel. And what did they do? They deleted his old channel. And I got every single video. And, and uh, you know, that's why he uploaded them on the new one. But, here's here's you know. the thing, you know. They're deleting hood stuff. What's stopping someone from going up to the NFL and being like, Hey, this dude keeps re-uploading your stuff. Uh, take his shit down. You know, there's nothing stopping him. I mean, stopping them. No, no. Yeah. And he was he was fine with me downloading the video. He said, "Shit, I'm glad you did, cause you know, yeah, I'm YouTube." Yeah, I mean, you know, I figured with someone like Hood Gaming, they were gonna. Stop. Well, I'm talking about like with Highlight Heaven here. I guarantee you, someone's gonna go up to the NFL and snitch. 
You know, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be me because, of course, like I said, there are some football YouTubers out there that deserve all the praise in the world because they know how to transform content and shit. Yeah. It's just this whole thing. Like, it doesn't seem like a small deal, but the fact that it's a big YouTuber, that's my issue. Yeah, that's a big deal. You have to be... a big deal. It it needs to be just like the old days, Andy, where everyone, no matter how many subscribers they have, are held to a higher standard. You know? Yeah. Regardless on whether anything is politically motivated... Or if anything's racially motivated, or um, in terms of videos being uploaded, it doesn't matter. Everyone needs to be held right. to a moral playing field. And this situation's yeah. no damn different. Right. All right, that's all I, I got. That's all I've got to say. I mean, is there anything else we want to talk about? I mean, I've got a headache. I need to drink a milk here. All, all I'm going to say is this. One, one last word from me first. Highlight. If you, if, you wa- if you watch this video, you should be ashamed of yourself. So. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I wanted to bring up. Not only that, I feel like you, HH, you owe everybody an apology for this. You owe that guy an apology. You yeah, know. you do. If you want to take down that whole comment section, that's perfectly fine. But I feel like you got a lot of explaining to do when this video, if this video blows up, which I don't care if it blows up or not, because you know what? As long as it's on YouTube, as long as it's on YouTube, you know, it's going to be my opinion. I'm sticking to it. But yeah. Like I said, people download videos, so, you know. Yeah. It shame on, shame on you, you, Highlight. Shame on you. You lost a subscriber? Go fuck yourself. You actually lost two subscribers, honestly. Yeah, and he's probably going to lose a bit more when people see this shit. He might, he might not, you know. But like I said, I know I don't, he don't give a damn if we unsubscribe. He don't give a damn. Like I said, this is for the record, you know. Man, we were at it for yeah, 42 minutes. <laughs> we were at it for he, he 42 minutes. He could take minutes. his 700,000 subscribers and fucking shove it up his ass. All I, give <laughs> I really uh, don't give a damn. Uh, I know I know YouTubers that's got a million subscribers that surpassed him. Come on. Trust yeah. me, I, I got contact with YouTubers. I'm personally I also do too. I also have contacts with specific um, channels that have less subscribers than yeah. him who have similar beliefs to him but don't act this outrageous. I brought up Christian Miracle. I brought up David Jaffe. And there's that. I'm going to end it here. Man, we went on for 43 minutes with this one. So we're going to have to end it here. But, um, right. yeah, this one's for the record. This is Heath Nation 2465. On behalf of me and Andy, we are outro. Peace.